Is fecal microbiota transplant likely to replace repeat antibiotic use? Well, I think we know that uh, the fecal transplant is, has by far the best success rate. Uh, the problem is how you manipulate it, how you put it in, how you get an appropriate donor, and so forth. Uh, and therefore, I think for the moment, um, oral vancomycin uh, is going to be the mainstay of at least for initial therapy. And fecal transplant becomes a much better option uh, when the stakes are higher, when relapse is more common, and that is after one or two relapses. Then we see uh, a better uh, need for fecal transplant. The importance here is the fecal transplant, and it does not seem to make a big difference how you put it in. Uh, so that you know, through the years, period, people have given it by endoscopy, by colonoscopy or upper endoscopy. They give it by NG tube. Uh, more recently, they've given it by pills. Uh, so there, it, it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference how you get it in there. The second issue that comes up is the donor. Uh, the donor should be somebody that's healthy and has been screened to make sure that the stool does not carry some transmissible pathogen. Uh, the menu of tests uh, is written out, uh, and that's customary in all people that are, uh, all places that are doing this. It turns out to be fairly expensive, um, and one of the things uh, practitioners in the United States need to know is the insurance companies uh, are not going to pay for this because this is stool from a donor. It's not, uh, it's not a specimen from the patient. Uh, there are a number of sources of the stool that have already been screened. For example, one is Open Biome, which is a group of MIT students that uh, screen donors, healthy donors, um, freeze it and then make it available for $250 uh, to anybody that wants to use it uh, for insertion in one way or another. Another is to have it in uh, capsule form with pills, uh, and that's being more actively pursued now. So there's a number of ways to do it. Great differences in price. If you do it with endoscopy, it's going to be really expensive. Uh, if you do one of these alternative methods, why it's pretty cheap and very effective. <laughs>